Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. With the Calgary Stampede approaching on July 6, 2018, animal rights activists will again be protesting over the constant animal abuse and cruelty to animals that takes place during the 10 days during the rodeo and chuck wagon races. But others will also be rallying over the Calgary Stampede due to other reasons that we will further explain in this video. As you may or may not know, earlier this year there was pedophilia found in the young Canadians involving one adult male and several underaged boys on several encounters. The guy pleaded guilty to eight charges and got ten years which led to a class action lawsuit against the company because other employees knew about it. The Calgary Stampede hires over 3,000 employees for the 10-day event, pay them minimum wage, and send them out to do their jobs with very little training or knowledge. For most people this is their first job and 90% of the people hired are teenagers. This causes unanswered questions inaccurate responses, confusion to customers and employees, as well as accidents, and many other conflicts. Last year during the 2017 Calgary Stampede, a stream of motorists attempted to enter the 11th Avenue Southeast parking lot using forged parking passes. While this issue made it to the news at the time, what wasn't stated was that it all started from a CBC Media Pass holder. It was one of their passes that was forged. This shows how easy it is to trick the new untrained workers at that post since it took a couple days until it was detected by a full year employee. But also shows that even people that work in the media are dishonest. Also last stampede. In the same parking lot there were hawks that attacked at least three people where paramedics had to be called enforcing the Calgary Stampede to put up warning signs about the hawks. There was also confusion in a separate parking lot where the rodeo and chuck wagon contestants park. A full-time team leader ended up calling parking authority to ticket a bunch of vehicles that apparently had improper parking passes for that specific parking lot. The parking authority then called in a bunch of tow trucks to come and tow the vehicles to the impound lot. This caused a lot of angry rodeo and chuck wagon participants, especially since they had to pay towing fees as well as impound fees. This finally got settled by the Calgary Stampede paying all of the fees to get the vehicles back to the rightful owners. Many said they might not ever return again because of this. Year round the people operating the cameras on Stampede Park follow people around on the cameras, especially the employees. This misses all the major issues happening in and around the park. There have been times I even felt unsafe to do my job or to park my vehicle on Stampede Park since I know it wouldn't be getting looked after. There are numerous stabbings, as well as pickpockets that get away due to cameras not being fully watched properly. And last but defiantly not least, safety issues arise all the time. Occupational health and safety gets called in numerous times a year as well as other safety persons, and the fire chief to ensure proper procedures are being met. Sometimes when the stampede supervisors are expecting these people they make it right for only that day so the unsafe practices go unnoticed. This also falls into the category of hiring employees as well as supervisors that have no experience in that role and then a lot of miscommunication occurs among each supervisor, causing conflict with other employees since no one is on the same page. In all, you bust your butt at this company and the company makes it sound like a great place to work, when in reality they treat their staff and customers unprofessionally and like garbage. The pay is terrible, the hours are bad, no benefits, they favor their favorite people, especially the ones they party with away from work. They yell and swear at the employees, 
even when they aren't in the wrong. And untrained employees that get yelled at by customers end up yelling and swearing back at them and there has been several instances they get reported but no one does nothing when specific employees get reported. Let's stand up and expose how this company really is. As an ex-employee of the company for many years I know how they operate and they need to be exposed. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.